this ever happened to you? It's happened to me more times than I can count. Stick around, we're gonna make a new tool. I'm trying to get in here to take this diameter down to a half an inch and I want to use carbide on this piece of steel and I can't even get my tool bit in there. So I could go, you know, grind a small piece of a uh, high speed steel, you know, a quarter inch bit and slide it in here, but uh, I want to use my carbide. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this out for one I've already made and I'll give you a prime example why you need one in the shop. The advantage to making one of these is that you can support the work, you can actually face the end of the stock that you're holding, and you can turn it down to whatever diameter you want without ever worrying about running into your 60 degree live center. You won't use them all the time, but you'll use it. Now the two prototypes that I made out of mild steel they're not going to hold up so I have this grade 8 bolt and I'm going to go ahead and make this one that we're showing in the video and I'm going to toss it in the forge and go ahead and bring it up to critical temperature go ahead and quench it and harden it and then I'm going to temper it back now there's really nothing groundbreaking about making a dead center it's basic turning Everybody can do it. As a matter of fact, most people probably aren't even watching the video. They've already seen what it looks like and they're already off and making one. Uh, it doesn't take long to make one. But the important thing is I'm going to go ahead and harden and temper this thing. So make sure you use some good steel. And I'm going to speed through the rest of the video and just bring you back on the important parts. I really think everybody out there is really going to find a use for this tool in their shop if you don't have one. Personally, I've had a lot of problems uh, trying to get tools in between the center and the end of the work. And that problem just went away. So if you like this video, be sure and hit that like button. Share the video with your friends and be sure and subscribe. Now it's important that the dead center that I just turned is on center height, so we'll find out why in a little bit. Now here I set up a dial indicator to control my travel using the cross slide. Now as far as feeding into the fly cutter, you can't use the compound when it's set at an angle. If you're going to use the compound, you have to set it at 90 degrees and set up another dial indicator. In this case, I just use the hand wheel.
Now the reason why it was important that we set the tool on center height was so this radius right here was equal on both sides.